Esther 3.15 Haratzim yatsa'u dechufim bidvar hamelech ve hadat nitna beshushan habira ve hamelech ve haman yashvu lishtot ve ha'ir shushan nabucha we begin here with the participle again, call participle masculine plural of the word roots with the definite article on the front here. So this is the word that was used for the runners, which became the couriers. These are the guys who were carrying this letter. They went out, call perfect third common plural there of yatsa. They went out. And then we get a passive participle. Here is a call passive participle of the root dachaf, which is uh, to hurry or to hasten. Notice it's a masculine plural absolute again, so we get hastening or quickly. Okay, so the runners went out quickly, hurriedly, with the decree or with the word of the king, with the word of the king. And the, the decree or the statute, the law, the decree was given in Susa, the capital. Notice was given here. This is a nifal, perfect, third feminine singular of the root natan. The noon that we're looking at here at the front is actually the nifal performative. The noon of natan has assimilated here. And then you see the third feminine singular uh, commits hey there of the perfect third feminine singular. So uh, was given, the decree was given in Susa, the capital. And then we get what uh, Haman and the king did versus what the city did. This is interesting. Ham the king and Haman, these two guys together, they sat down, call perfect third common plural of Yashav, they sat down to drink, call infinitive construct of Shata. Let me write it out here, of Shata. They sat down to drink. Then we get a vav right here, but instead of saying and the city, because this is contrasting, we might say but the city of Susa was agitated. Here we have a nifal perfect, third feminine singular, of the root boch, uh, to, to throw into confusion, uh, to be agitated, something of that nature. And so the city was agitated or in confusion. I don't think this is agitated in the sense of being mad. I think this is probably agitated in the sense of confusion, disarray, uh, worry, not knowing what's coming. And notice how calm the king and Haman are, which is going to be one of the ironies of this book when Haman's uh, comfort gets uh, flipped around later in the book.